gave out some nice winners on these videos over the weekend, and we're looking to do so with the Vikings travel Los Angeles, take on the Rams for Thursday night football. Welcome everyone. I'm Andy from wager talk. going to break down the Rams and the Vikings going to give you a player prop. I like, and we're going to give you a, a pick on the total. So if you guys could hit the like button, you know how it works. And then why not? Let's do another four letter word to put in the comment section, put your best bet for the game in there. If not, just go ahead and type the word call, call, C-A-L-L. Really helps the algorithm out, helps me out. Let's wager just talk knowing a good job for you. So code word is call, but if you want to put your best bet in there, I love seeing that, love reading the comments and responding to all of you. All right, let's get into it. So we've got the uh, Vikings and the Rams. Kind of interesting, these trade rumors for the Rams popping up. Uh, don't know if it really affects Thursday night football. I don't think it does. Um, but it looks like the Rams are going to get Cooper Cup back. And, of course, we've got a short week for both teams. Rams coming off a nice win against the Raiders. And we've got uh, the Vikings coming off of a tough game against the Lions. So a couple stats here real quick. And I've got a pretty easy opinion on the total here. So team yards per play, always looking at large yards per play for the offense. And when we're looking at both of these teams, uh, this is going to be a little bit of an advantage for Minnesota. 5.8 yards per play. The Rams are 5.1 yards per play. So uh, Minnesota ranks 10th, Rams rank 20th. So give a little advantage there to the Ra or, uh, to the Vikings here. Um, and then when we look at opponents' yards per play, this one needs a little bit of of kind of, of deep dive. So Minnesota, 5.1 yards on the season. Um, but the Rams is, is what needs a little bit of deep dive 5.8 yards per play on the season. However, in their last three, that is down to 4.8 and they were really good against Raiders 4.2 yards per play. I know it's the Raiders, so you take it with a grain of salt, but fact is it really looks like this Rams defense has been improving. And when I look at what, you know, what's happened to their totals. So the first game of the year, 26, 20, but that was a game against the Lions that went to overtime. Next week, 41-10, defense fell apart. But after that, San Francisco, 27-24, to they actually get the win there. Chicago, 24-18, to they lose, but they do a nice job against Caleb Williams. Against Green Bay, 24-19, and they did a good job against Jordan Love. He did not have that many yards in that game. And last week, they win 20-15. to I watched quite a bit of that game. I had a live bet on the under uh, that barely cashed, but I got to watch that Rams defense and. When it came time for stops, uh, they were able to get it, and the Raiders really only had one really good scoring opportunity down the stretch. So I actually think this Rams defense may be just a little bit underrated here. Um, the Vikings, they lose 31-29, but that's against the Lions. Their Lions are becoming a big Super Bowl favorite to make it out of the NFC. But when we look at what's happened before that, you know, against the New York Jets, 23-17, low-scoring game. Green Bay, they got into a shootout, 31-29. Uh, but Houston, 34-7. San Francisco, 23-16. New York, 28-6. So what I'm seeing here is this defense, when they're up against offenses that are not that dynamic and explosive, um, they do a pretty good job. So I think what my play is going to be the under on the 48. Looking at the Wager Talk live odds page, this 48 total Seems pretty big here. Um, getting Cooper Cup back, I think, is going to help the offense, and it may help extend some drives. You know they're going to try and run the ball uh, with Kyron Williams. And for the Vikings, one of the other reasons I like this uh, total is I think they're going to have success running the ball. Uh, the, the Rams' passing defense is better than their rushing defense. In fact, when you look at their uh, rushing yards per attempt, uh, not very good. We're sitting at 47 uh, for the season, and that is going to be in the bottom 10, whereas they're uh, in the top half in terms of passing defense. So my player prop is going to be Aaron Jones over that 68 and a half yard mark at the time of recording this. And what I like about that is I didn't know I didn't I had no idea who was going to play the amount that he did last week. And he got 14 carries. He had a big, big, long run of 34 yards, but 14 carries for 93 against the Lions. I think on a short week, they're going to utilize him. He looked healthy. So I'll take Aaron Jones over 68 and a half as the player prop. And for the play, for the video, let's take the under on 48. Um, just want to let you guys know, uh, full disclosure, we always uh, talk about our wins and our losses. Uh, last week, we did have a losing week, all sports, and NFL happened to be one of the bright spots 
Um, and then we come out of Monday night football two and zero on that night. So, uh, 471 wins, 306 losses on the year. This is all sports, 145.66 units, 8.2% ROI. So, uh, we keep humming right along. Um, if you're watching this on Wednesday, we've got an NBA play that is up. We still have our 5% college football hammer time play of the week, six and two on the year. This is the first 5% play done in college football. I'm 19 and six lifetime in all of college football plays. And uh, if you're looking for deals, um, they really do have a really good one going here at wager talk for a 30 day for just $8 a day. We are coming into the busiest part of the year. You've got college football. You've got NBA. You've got NHL. You've got NFL. I like you name it. You've got it. You've got UFC for us. Uh, we still have all of our sports and our cross sport parlays, and you can get all those for eight dollars a day. It's marked down to two forty nine. So for thirty days, eight dollars a day this time of year for all sports. It is an absolutely smoking deal. Throughout the summer, I would go like two or three days without any bets, and that's just not happening these days. There's too many opportunities to make money. So I encourage everyone, um, if you're looking to get a 30-day pass, now is the time, and why not? I'm number three in uh, in, in units gained, and uh, we're also in the top three for winning percentage and ROI. So really proud of the year that we're having, and there's no better time to take advantage of that. If you're watching this on Wednesday, you can take 20% off uh, all daily plays and all access plays. This is uh, for Wednesday, the 23rd. So if you want a one day pass, three days, seven, 30 or 90 day, uh, or you can even do uh, 12 months if you're looking for something more substantial. But really jump on this 30 days. Uh, we got a lot of profits <laughs> ahead of us. So looking very much forward to that. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Like button, please. And uh, leave a best bet in the comment section. If not, code word of the day is called. Good luck on your place. And we'll see everyone later.